Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up. Marcus. Twice over 300 years, I tell you for the salvation of the 400 million black people of the world, and the day when I protect my people, may God Almighty say there shall be no more life for you. <laughs> we believe in the God of Ethiopia, the everlasting God, God of Father, God of Son, God of Holy Ghost, the one God of all ages. That is the God in whom we believe, but we shall worship him through the spectacles of Ethiopia. For 250 years, we have struggled under the burden and rigors of slavery. We were maimed, we were brutalized, we were ravaged in every way. We are men, we have hopes, we have passions, we have feelings, we have desires just like any other race. The cry is raised all over the world of Canada for the Canadians, of America for the Americans, of England for the English, of France for the French, of Germany for the Germans. Do you think it unreasonable that we, the blacks of the world, should raise the cry of Africa for the Africans? <laughs> We do not want his back against the wall because that would be a peculiar and desperate position. We do not want him there. It is because of this that we are asking for fair compromise. Where well, the Belgians have control of the Belgian Congo, which they cannot use, they have not the resources to develop now the intelligence. The French have more territory than they can develop. There are certain parts of Africa in which you cannot live at all. So it is for you to come together and give us a United States of Africa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are not going to be a rest without the country. God never intended it, and we are not going to abuse God's confidence in us as men. We are men, human beings, capable of the same acts as any other race, possessing under fair circumstances the same intelligence as any other race. Now Africa's been sleeping, not dead, only sleeping. Today Africa's walking around not only on her feet, but on her brains. You can enslave what was done for 300 years, the bodies of men. You can shackle the hands of men. You can shackle the feet of men. You can imprison the bodies of men, but you cannot shackle or imprison the minds of men. Rise down, black men, and take. Reach up, black men and women, and pull all nature's knowledge to you. Turn ye around and make a conquest of everything, north and south, east and west. And then when you have wrought well, you will have merited God's blessing, you will have become God's chosen people, and naturally you will become leaders of the world. Because no race has the last word on culture and on civilization. They do not know what we are capable of. They do not know what we are thinking. They are thinking in terms of dreadnoughts, battleships, aeroplanes, submarines. You know what we are thinking about? That is our own private business. <laughs> so give us credit for being able to use our minds. And with people becoming conscious of themselves, determined to use their minds, you do not know to what extent they can go. Liberate the minds of men and ultimately you will liberate the bodies of men. We love the white race, not for social fellowship, but for the common brotherhood of God intended we should live. What satisfaction can anyone get in being happy and see his brother wallowing in filth, dirt and disease? How can you be happy living in luxury and your brother's living in disease and then when you try to help the one out of the disease, the subtle culprit talks about disloyalty? Black men of Carthage, black men of Ethiopia, of Timbuktu, of Alexandria gave the light of civilization to this world. Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands unto God and princes shall come out of Egypt. Because classes, nations, races have been quite quiet for over four centuries. Who was merely born abuse, insults, humiliation. Whose forbearance can only be compared to the prophet Job. Has likewise lifted his bowed head and raised it up to God's skies and cried out, I am a man and demand a man's chance and a man's treatment in this world. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake. Wake up, wake up, every dopey wake up. Wake up, wake up.